And Gaku is in for Team Lexnos. He's using 10 healers. What? Hey guys, today we got an awesome video for you. I teamed up with Gaku from Queen Walkers in order to beat Team Nick Nose. Let's see who comes out with the victory today. And here we go with the next match of Team Lexnos versus Team Nick Nose. And today I have teamed up with Gaku himself from Queen Walkers so we can beat Nick again. Team Nick Nose coming in with the first attack of the match to Rainberry with the invisibilities and the skellies, but he made the CC invisible. Oh, he messed up. And he made it invisible again! Bruh, he's throwing. Third time's a charm. Can he get the CC? I don't think so. He's all out of invisibility spells. And he didn't even get the scatter? Bro. Team Nyknos throwing to start off the match. Uh-oh. He actually got the CC still. Wow. Wow. But the scatter stays up. Can he recover? Barbarian King from the right side of the base. Okay, Queen in behind. He's got the nothing. No, he's got the Unicorn with the Barbarian King. Nothing with the Queen. Interesting. Ice Golem from the right side. Royal Champion with the Lassie right there from the bottom. Is this the way he wanted the Queen to go? I'm not even sure. Pops out RC ability early. Queen will fight the enemy RC. His RC might take out the Scatter. That's looking pretty good. If he had an invisibility, he could get the other Scatter. Ooh, if he freezes. If he free- Oh, the RC goes up, though! Queen's gonna go inside. Tell me she can somehow target the Town Hall here. Bruh, freeze and she gets the Town Hall. Oh, but the Scatter might kill her. Does the Scatter hit her? No! Queen gets the Town Hall, and now the Sui is looking really good. Hold up. He still has a Stone Slammer he could send straight to the core. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. King on the top side with an Ice Golem still. Getting a ton of value here. Stone Slammer going straight to the scatter shot in the core. Okay, Queen will be able to pick off the Tesla maybe on the bottom side. The Stone Slammer is going to get that scatter in the core. Got most of the Teslas there as well. Lalo starting from the top side of the base here. Haste directly into the Eagle. We got two Ice Hounds on this Lalo. Stone Slammer finds the Tornado Trap. Not going to do a whole, whole lot there. Warden on air in to support the loons. He's not staying with the BK, which is nice. Lava Hound's flying across the map. Gonna start freezing everything up right now. Perfect. It freezes the queen and both Inferno Towers. That could not have been better. Where are his headhunters? Oh, dude, this is so crushed. Holy crap. He still has Warden ability. He still has a freeze spell. He's gonna have to pop Warden ability right there. Drops the freeze, although he didn't need it. Headhunters are in. 45 seconds to go. 97% in climbing. What the heck? Even... When the Skellies don't get the value he wanted, Rainberry comes in clutch with the first triple to start off the match for Team Nick. Peng is in with the first attack for Team Lexnos on Ghost Base with a Queen Charge Lelo. All right. He has no pet for his Queen. Rip. He's upgrading one of his pets, but that's okay. We're going in with an early blimp from the 1030 angle with a Rage Spell. Going to knock out that scatter shot right away. Start the queen at 10. She should walk down, it looks like, is the plan. <clears throat> Gets the CC pool as well. Healers on the queen. There goes the poison for the headhunters. Nice. Some goblins in there and a super minion as well. But the super minions, after that nerf in the last update, they're honestly not that scary on queen charges. Look at that. It doesn't even do that much damage. Queen can take it out with ease and then continue walking down. There is that builder hut there that she is not able to reach, I believe. Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't target his healers. The range on that is pretty short, so it actually shouldn't at all. Nice. He wall breaks over here to get queen access to the town hall compartment. I'm going to be able to charge that nice and easily. Still holding on to the king, who has the yak. And the road champion, who has the lassie with her. We're going to funnel the mortar here on the bottom side. Probably don't even need the king. Oh, does queen go into the wrong compartment? She did. Uh-oh. She goes into the Builder Hut compartment, can reach the Expo and the Sweeper. Does she reroute after that, though? I believe she might. She goes up for the Sweeper. No, she's just going to beat on a wall. That's a little awkward. Going to definitely waste some time here. But she's still going to basically get all the value he wanted. She's still going to go into the Town Hall. Next Wall Breaker, go into the bottom side. We send King from 6 o'clock. Queen on the Town Hall now. Do we have to freeze it to save the healers? Yes, we do. Going to have to invest a freeze right there. Down that goes. Eagle wakes up, targets his Barbarian King here, who has the Yak with him. And where do we want to start this Lalo? Only a minute and 15 left on the board. Shouldn't wait much longer. Here we go with the Lalo from the top side of the base. Warden into support. He still has that Royal Champion. Lots of cleanup minions. Just drops the Royal Champion directly with the Lalo. Queen on the bottom side. Going to be able to finish off the enemy Queen. Got to use the ability there, but she'll be able to get through it all. 
Pop the Warden ability super early. Headhunters can hopefully take out the RC, but the RC is running away and dodging all the shots. The RC stays up. We still have our RC. Everybody skips the multi that was in that little island by itself. And that multi's actually doing a lot of damage to his loons here. Nobody's going for that multi, dude. Pops the RC ability. She's going to die to the enemy king. No, she kills the enemy king. Can't she kill the multi? Oh, it's going to be close. The multi. One more shot. It goes down. RC gets the multi. Queen's still alive with one healer. The healer's dead. Queen gets a Tesla. Oh, we still got a couple loons with the warden finally getting the eagle artillery down. It's going to be close. Queen gets an archer tower. And she gets the Tesla. One balloon left. No balloons left. No, it's a defense. 15 seconds to go. The owl dies to the archer tower and the warden can't finish it off. There's two archer towers up. Pang! Letting down Team Lexnos. And it's going to be a defense for Ghost and Team Nyknos with a strong start here. They're going to be up three stars to two after the first round of attacks. Nick is in on Gaku's base. And what is he bringing? He's coming in with a dragon attack with a clone spell and two invisibilities. Okay. Gaku with the OP legend style base. Early blimp from the top side of the base here. Freeze the sweeper. We're trying to get it all the way to the core. It's not gonna get that far. There's too many traps. Oh, the super minion attack. This is like Itsu's super minion blimp. Invisible. Super minions with the clone spell getting a ton of value. Holy crap. Look at that They just got a ton of value. Jeez. Tell me they get the air defense, too Oh, they do they got the air defense and they pulled the two headhunters out of the CC. Wow, okay That's some pretty decent value not gonna lie He's still got the super minions alive on the top side two of them are cloned and are gonna just disappear here in a second we send all the dragons from the top right side of the base remember he still has king and queen to deploy and royal champion here comes the king and the queen from the right side of the base to help funnel the dragons into the bottom. He doesn't have a blimp or anything for the town hall, so it's a slightly risky attack, but I think he's looking pretty good, to be honest with you. King with the yak, unicorn with the queen. We pop the warden ability early, so we're not going to have that for the town hall, but it might not even matter. He still has two freezes and a rage. He's going to use the royal champion to make sure we get the town hall and try to keep all the dragons from taking damage from that Giga Bomb. He just barely missed the Royal Champion with that freeze. That's a little unfortunate, but it doesn't matter because the dragons are there. We rage through it. The dragons on the top side kill the enemy queen, and I think this is absolutely crushed. This is absolutely crushed. He pops that Royal Champion ability. Still has one, two, three, at least 69 and a half dragons alive, guys. Wow, Royal Champion is not going to die. Warden's not going to die. King's not going to die. Queen is at full health with ability. Say goodbye to Gaku's base. Nick, just way too OP with the super minion cloned invisible dragon man attack. Wow, beautiful hit from them. And Team Nick are now two for two. Rupert with the second attack for Team Lexnos. Coming in with a little pee wee wee action. It's his favorite attack by far. He's going to blunt the town hall super duper early here from the eight o'clock angle. Finds a tornado trap. Uh oh, we're going to have to rage. Can he still get it? He's gonna have to invest the freeze. Oh, dude, that town hall went down fast. He did not even need the freeze. Oh, well, we waste a freeze, but who cares? Queen from nine o'clock. Looks like he wants her to walk up toward 1030. We're gonna use the unicorn with the queen. Is this funnel gonna work? Does she still go up? I think she will. It's a little close, but she, yeah, she goes up. Does she go inside? That would be awkward if she does. Oh, okay, thank goodness. She doesn't go inside. Cause it looks like we want to Send the PBB into the scattershot compartment. Queen takes out the collector. Coco Loon finds the Seeking Air Mine. That's beautiful. Gonna have to rage up the Queen. There goes the rage. Nicely done. So we don't have to pop her ability just yet. Wall breaker. Gotta pop the Queen. Pop the Queen. Oh, that was looking close. Down goes the enemy Queen. Start dropping peckers from the top side of the base. We don't have anything to use with the King. So we. it looks like he's upgrading his Yak. Here come the CC troops. Poison spell right there. Queen switches targets before the scatter shot's down. That's going to cost us another rage. Here comes the PVV from the top side of the base. King on the outside with the witches to funnel. Peckers, super wizards, and warden from the top side to help funnel the queen into the core. She's going to deal with all those lava pups. Only takes her three to four business days, but eventually she gets through all of them. Wall break and free spell on the top side is going to allow us easy access to get through that single target inferno tower. Jump spell to get us through the rest of the base. 
And we don't have any wall breakers to help the queen get into the core. That's a little unfortunate. We pop the warden ability to negate all the damage from that multi-targeting Inferno Tower. We do have one more freeze, but I don't know if he wants to use it to save the wizards or save it for the RC. Looks like he's going to let the wizards die and save the freeze for the RC. Oh, it's looking a little sketchy, though. Uses the RC in combination with the king and the warden. All of his peckers and his wee-wees are dead. That's very unfortunate. Queen wraps around to go target a different wall. Eventually, she'll get the multi, but we don't have her ability. She actually might die. He's still holding on to that free spell. Gonna have to use it now to see if he wants to save the royal champion. Pops the ability. Down go all those defenses. She might not even get the scatter. He's gonna freeze, so she gets the scatter. But on the top side, Queen's gonna die to the single. Oh, that single is too OP. King's gonna tank. If Can Warden snipe the single? I don't think it matters. His royal champion died. Ah, oh, Rupert. Not gonna be able to get it done. And Team Lextos with all the wrong recruits today, except for Gaku, maybe. What is going on with our team? Wizard and Archers from the south side trying to get as much percent as he can. This still technically is a time fail, I think. I think that King and Warden stay alive forever thanks to the healers, but not enough time on the clock to get it done. And we're going to fall short at 93-ish percent. Can you get one more building? Two, one. Time runs out at 93 percent. Nice try, Rupert, but not going to be enough to get it done. And Team Nicknose with a big lead now. Six stars to four. Avu is in on Peng's base. If they get another triple here, oof, it's going to be looking bad for Team Lexnos. And they're coming in with a Super Witch attack. Okay. Warden with the Owl from 1 o'clock. No lightning spells on this attack. But the Warden and the Owl are pretty fast here. The Owl adds just a lot of extra DPS for the initial Warden charge. Warden snipes the Wizard Tower. How long... Is he going to let the Warden walk before he starts the next phase of the attack? Warden's going to step up. Owl is going to get absolutely clashed by that air defense. We're going to go ahead and drop the Queen with the Unicorn on the top side of the base. Let her walk around. We're not going to get kill the air defense with the Warden, which is a little strange. But here come the Super Witches directly from 1130. King on the outside to funnel. Everybody's going to go inside. He's going to lose one healer to the air defense. Is he going to lose a second one? There goes one. There goes two. He's losing lots of healers. Queen's going to take out the air defense now. Boom. He only lost two healers, I think. Or was it three? It's hard to tell. Wall breaking all the way to the middle. But the wall breakers never target the compartment he actually wanted. He's looking a little sketchy. Oh, he's got a third wall breaker. Okay, going to be able to get them to the core. Only one witch to target the town hall. That's looking even sketchier, bro. How's he going to get this town hall? Got to rage the super witches in the middle. Freeze the town hall. Pops the king ability. Wow, it's lucky king goes for the town hall. Pops the Warden ability to negate all the damage from those multi-targeting Infernos in the middle. Down goes the Town Hall to the King. That was beautiful. Jump spell through the back end of the base. A minute and 24 on the clock. We still got the Royal Champion to deploy. And lots of spells in the bag. A Rage that he uses right there for the Super, which is an Invisibility and three Freezes to go. Okay. With all these spells, he might still have a chance. Depends on how many Super Witches are still alive. One of them is very low on HP. He freezes the multi to save that Super Witch. She's very low. Now she's starting to get HP back. Is that the only Super Witch left? I believe so. Royal Champion from the 730 angle to wrap around all the defenses on the bottom side and force Queen through the middle of the base. All right. Royal Champion with the Lassie is looking very healthy. We got a Yeti coming to help out. He's going to take the jump spell here in a second. The Eagle targets the Yeti instead of one of the three heroes. That is some weird Eagle AI. He's got lots of cleanup wizards he can start dropping on the bottom side of the map. Queen and Yeti will be able to take out the enemy king. They're going to tag team him right there. <laughs> he kind of likes it, though. Wizard grabbing all these collectors on the bottom side of the base. Eagle switches targets the road champion. We're going to make her invisible. Still have her ability. 28 seconds on the clock. Going to have to pop her ability soon, as that warden tower does a lot of damage. Now we can freeze to keep her alive on the right side. It's going to be close on time. Tries to freeze both cannons, only hits one. Drops the wizards on the cannon, but it's going to turn around and shoot them. No, they take it out. Royal Champion takes out the other cannon. Ten seconds to go. Can Queen get that upper collector in time? Oh my gosh, she's going to get it. Five, four, three, two. Oh, we need a defense, and he gets it. With two seconds to spare, Peivu with the OP Super Witch Attack. And now Nick's team is three for three. And Gaku is in for Team Lexnos. Can we finally get a triple? He's using 10 healers. What? 
King from the top side of the base, okay. He's got the Yak with the King. Queen on the outside to funnel King in. What is he gonna do with 10 healers? Oh my gosh, this man's is crazy. King should take out the Eagle Artillery. We're gonna use five healers with the Queen and the Unicorn with the Queen, so she's got tons of healing power. King finds a Skeleton Trap, Rage up the Queen. She'll fight the enemy Royal Champion. King can pop his ability, take out the Eagle. It's looking good so far. How's he gonna funnel the Queen? What is the plan with her? Since the Royal Champion with the Lassie from 10 o'clock. And where are the other healers? Healers on the Warden at 9 o'clock. What? King beats through a wall, takes out the Ground Expo. Can they take out the Warden Tower as well? Royal Champion, trick into the core of the base, takes out the core. What is going on? The Yak almost kills the Warden Tower. He's going to sneak in some loons to finish it off. Royal Champion gutted the core. We, we're doing a Warden Charge at 9 o'clock just for trash buildings. Queen on the outside. Does the Balloon take out the Warden Tower? Yes, the Warden Tower drops. Queen finds the Tesla Farm. We're funneling to get her into the Town Hall compartment. He's already at 54%. I'm so confused. He's got eight Baby Dragons in the bag. What is he doing? Wizard at 10 o'clock with a minion as well. The Warden eventually can take out the multi. He needs to get Queen into the Town Hall chamber. She should get there. He's still got two freezes, two rages, and a poison. Dude, he hasn't even fought the CC troops yet. Oh my gosh. Queen takes out the air defense. Warden walk on the left side is going to take out the multi. Queen goes inside. We're going to give her a rage. We're going to pop the ability so we don't have to freeze. Down goes the Town Hall. Here comes CC troops. Watch out though. The headhunters go for the Warden. The Queen's in range of the single. Oh, this went from super amazing to uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. We got to freeze the single. Poison and Warden ability. Can the Warden stay alive? Queen's fighting Lava Pups. There's so much going on at once. We're dropping Baby Dragons from 6 o'clock. The Poison takes out the Headhunters. Queen, can she get through the single? We got one more freeze. That's our last spell. 48 seconds on the clock. Baby Dragons all over the place to deploy. The Baby Dragon finds the Tornado. Queen, take out the single, please. Our Warden is fighting the King, but we have a Headhunter to help. Queen gets through the single. Warden dies to the King. 33 seconds. No way. It's going to be a defense. Oh, does he have it? 28 seconds to go. All of his baby dragons are dead. The healers from the warden switch over to the queen. She takes out the clan castle, gets the sweeper. Oh, dude, this is going to be like a 99%. Oh, what a heartbreaker. She takes out the expo. That definitely deserved the triple. And she beats on a wall. 97. Oh, man. Honestly, though, Gaku, that was phenomenal. That was awesome to watch. It didn't work out. Just barely going to run out of time. But geez, he gets all the points for creativity today. Holy crap. And the score is now six to nine. Pog. Ghost is in on my base. Let's see what he's bringing. Coming in with a little Lalo action. Four invisibilities with three skeletons. He's going to take out the clan castle super duper early. All right. All right. It's looking good so far for him. Oh, look. The Builder is actually healing the Clan Castle. Nice. He's got to fight against that. The CC still goes down. Yeti over at 2 o'clock to help funnel a little bit. Looks like he's going to try to get the King to go in for the Town Hall. Perhaps. Yeti might take out the Cannon. That's looking good. Giant and RC. Oh, he's going to use the RC for the Town Hall. That's why he's got the Quake. She finds a Tornado Trap. Wizard right there. Take out the skellies. Now we can drop the quake to wake up the town hall. Boom. Invisibility for the RC. She's going to be able to get the town hall. He even makes the lassie invisible. That's OP. That's OP. Nicely done so far from Ghost. Down goes the town hall. He's still got the king and the queen to deploy. Drops the king with an ice golem from 6 o'clock. King's got the unicorn. Queen and Yak from 430 to walk down. Another ice golem going in. We're going to wall break into the core. Yo, this is some OP Sui value. King's going to be able to take out the Scatter and the Royal Champion. Queen can maybe take out the Multi, the Sweeper, and the Enemy Queen if this works out the way he wants. He needs that Queen to keep walking up. Come on, Queen. Don't get distracted down south. He should have popped that King ability earlier. Queen still goes up. Oh my gosh. This is so good. He even drops a Freeze spell and the last Skeleton that he actually didn't even use on the CC. 
The skeleton spell distracts. Queen kills the queen. Still gonna have to pop ability. She's gonna kill the enemy king too. Wow. What an opener from Ghost. Now we gotta finish the Lalo in a minute though. Not a whole lot of time left. Starts the Lalo with the Warden from 8 o'clock. Second Hound from 9.30. Loon's over there as well. Freeze the Eagle with the Multi. Okay, okay. Pop the Warden ability super duper early. The Sweeper's still up, which is going to be a little annoying. Stone Slammer from the top side to distract the Scatter Shot up there. And we got two more Haste and a Freeze to use. He's got two Headhunters that he doesn't need whatsoever. Uh, probably going to need to Freeze something soon. Nope, he's going to save the Freeze for the Multi on the back end. Haste the Group of Loons up at 10.30. Nicely done. The Sweeper's being annoying, but not a whole lot we can do except use the Haste spell here. Freezes the Multi and the Builder Hut. A few more Loons from the top side of the base. Last Haste spell is in, and I think he's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's actually going to lose most of these Loons here. That got a lot closer than I thought it would. But the opener was beautiful. Really fun to watch. He's going to get it with four or five or six loons still alive minions all over the place 20 seconds to go plenty of time to spare beautiful hit from ghost absolutely clashing my base and team nicknos are just dominating today they are four for four lucas with the fourth attack for team lex toast can we get at least one triple today please maybe hopefully let's see what lucas can do coming in with a lalo attack of his own he's got four lightnings what are you gonna do with four lightnings Early blimp for the Town Hall. No Tornado Trap to stop us. We don't need any spells to take it out. Nicely done. Town Hall's dead. Invisibility spell. For what? Bruh, he just swagged an invisibility. Lucas? What the heck was that? RC from 9 o'clock gets some value, sure. But what was that invisibility? Mass Headhunter CC that the RC pulls. Okay. Minion at 9 o'clock pulls all the Headhunters. Oh, but then we drop the heroes. Never mind. We don't want to kill the Headhunters. We're going to drop the King and the Queen down south. Some loons for the Tesla. Two Ice Golems for the Sui. A Yeti at 6 o'clock finds a Tesla. We're going to use a Baby Dragon there as well. First Ice Golem pops. Wall Break is successful. Going to give us access to the single. But we can't reach the multi. He still has four lightnings and an earthquake. And I'm not sure what the heck he's going to do with them. There goes the quake in the core. Was he supposed to RC trick both infernos? Uh, Lucas is on a whole nother level, dude. He messed up his RC trick beyond understanding. Oh, he's still going to zap it. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Bro, you might as well should have just zapped the sweepers to make the Lalo easier. What are you doing? Oh, gosh. Oh, dear Lord. We need to do some recruiting for our next team. <laughs> oh, no. Warden on air with a yak. Oh, the big brain plays. All right, we got the yak for the Lalo. Let's go. Lalo straight into the Eagle Artillery. Here we go. Headhunters with the Warren ability to take out the road champion. Yes, luckily the Yak is tanking the Eagle Artillery shots. 200 IQ, big brain plays here from Lucas. Freeze the Scatter Shot and the Air Defense on the other side. Rage the Lalo through the Scatter. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Ignore the Multi, that's going to do a lot of damage to our loons. We're going to freeze it up. Haste into the other Scatter. Freeze the other Scatter. We got one more Haste, guys, don't worry. Tornado Trap catches all of our loons. The Yak is going through walls. He's trying to keep up with the Warden. He's doing cleanup, though, as we move through the base. We get the loons into the last scatter shot. We still have a haste to use. We drop it on all the loons after they're dead. And Lucas, my mans. I think Nick paid Lucas to throw this, this war. Rip. He still got really close, though. Didn't get the multis. That's all he's missing, really. Warden going to be able to snipe the storage and the scatter shot as long as he has time. Down that goes. No, actually, the warden is going to die. Shoot. 90% attack from Lucas. And Team Nick is 4 for 4. And Team Lexnos is 0 for 4. <sighs> Rough day for us. Handsome is in with the last attack for Team Nicknos. And we're going to jinx the heck out of him. Team Nicknos with a chance to get the perfect match here. The perfect war. 15 stars on the line. Can Handsome get it done for Nick's team? Coming in with an early blimp from this bottom left side of the base. Gets the scatter shot without having to use any spells. Nice, it's gonna be a Pee Wee Wee attack here. Queen from 7.30 to walk into the Eagle Artillery Compartment. We're gonna use the Unicorn with her. 
Wall break is very easy as all the walls are closed here. All right. He's being very patient with the rage. Doesn't actually need it just yet. It's looking good. Queen steps up for the air defense. She might keep walking left, but eventually she goes in. The expo switches targets to the unicorn. Yes, that's an OP expo. Say goodbye to your unicorn, Mr. Handsome. Down goes that unicorn. Couple of Coco Loons in. Expo switches back to the queen. Down goes the eagle artillery. Queen's gonna continue making her way up top. She's gonna skip this ground ex I mean this air expo, which is looking a little awkward. The loons are gonna be able to damage it, but can they get it before the multi kills them? One more shot, and oh, the expo drops. He missed the healers with the rage. That's gonna cost him the queen ability. Next wall break to get her access to the single, but we don't have her ability. Luckily, we do have three freezes to help her get through it. First pecker gets absolutely clashed by that single target Inferno Tower. Rest of the peckers with the king and the wee wees up on the top side of the base. Nice. We're going to jump queen to the core and probably just try to funnel everybody else into the town hall. Looks like it. Oh, the yak is OP, just busting open the wall, so we don't even need the jump. Wow. Although he definitely wants queen to go take out the multi, and she might not go that way because of that yak busting open the walls that's actually good for the defense pops that warden ability wee wees are trying their best to get through the town hall queen is stuck on the lava dog but after three to four business days it goes down she can deal with the pups very quickly now with the help of that poison spell we're gonna get through the enemy queen that giga poison did a lot of damage i think he actually lost most of his super wizards there he did down go all the super wizards the multi on the right is killing the witches Queen finally does take the jump to go into the core, and she takes out the multi. We still have the road champion that we deploy from the 3 o'clock side of the base. Okay. Down goes the multi. We can start dropping some cleanup over there now. We finally just now pop the king ability. He beats the perfect junction wall. It's going to allow him and the queen and the witches to get into the bottom side of the base. But with only 30 seconds to go, is there enough time to get it done? Cleanup over on the right side is going to be looking a little iffy. He rages the troops through the bottom. There's a Tesla farm. We're going to freeze. We got another freeze, but really time's the only issue. So freezes aren't going to help out a whole lot. The wizard's going for the storage, but I don't think he's going to get it. Lexnos with the OP jinx. It worked. It worked. And handsome. Not going to be able to get it done in time against Rupert's base. Team Nignos are going to be finishing with 14 stars. Handsome with the 92% attack against Rupert's base. And here we go with the last attack of the match. It's me coming in with a hybrid on Nick's base. And we are in. We are in with the OP 30 second plan. Legends League style attack. All right, let's charge the left side. There better not be Teslas over here. Thank goodness there aren't. Uh, the owl's gonna get wrecked. Queen's gonna go charge this compartment. Nice. Okay. Haven't had to use any rages yet. That's nice. Now I do. Oh, hello, queen. She's going to go that way. Oh, hello, queen. Where's she going, bro? This is not what I expected from the queen charge, but this is actually kind of better. Now we can hybrid into the eagle, question mark, should we? I think we should. Why does the eagle target my healers, bro? Rip the queen charge. Well, she's still alive. Nice. We still have to fight CC troops though, right now, which is going to be a little sketchy. Of course, it's Mass Headhunter. We're going to invest a freeze. Queen on the bottom can take out that Headhunter. 
Let's rage up the hybrid. Let's heal the hybrid. So I got two freezes. Do that. 45 seconds to go with another freeze. I think we're looking good. Boom! And finally, finally, Team Lexnos gonna be able to get a triple here. My goodness gracious. At least it's not gonna be a 10 star war for us. 30 seconds to go. RC ability in the bag. We can pop it right there. 20 seconds to spare. Down goes Nick's base. But it's not gonna be enough to beat Nick's team today. It's gonna be the 11 to 14 star victory for Team Nick Nose. 98.4% to 94.6.